Got something awesome in the mail. The new Sig Sauer AXG grip module. So we're going to take this X carry and we are going to make it an AXG carry. Look how awesome this is. How sweet is that? Thank you guys for joining us on the Concealed Carry channel. I'm Grant McLean. I have a fun upgrade that we're going to be doing today. Got something awesome in the mail. It is the new Sig Sauer AXG grip module. So we're going to take this X carry and we are going to make it an AXG carry today. <laughs> if you like guns, hit that like, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and of course share the channel with your good friends and other enthusiasts. Let's get this info out there. Because as you know, YouTube right now is very picky about things and we want to make sure that we are getting good information out to responsible gun owners and new gun purchasers that don't know what the heck they're looking for. So before we jump into the review, I want to say thank you to a couple folks. Our big sponsor is Northwest Armory. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, making sure that we can get guns, get down to the range, break those down for our viewers, get you the pros, cons, make sure that you know the information that's going to be most relevant to you before you decide to purchase that gun. Also, I want to say thank you so much to X Hunt Targets. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, doing the collaborations that we have been doing on the Precision Targets, and they have been selling like crazy, and people have left a fantastic feedback. So I want to say thank you so much to X Hunt Targets for supporting the channel. And if you need to get some targets, go to xhunttargets.com, and you can order targets. We have that coupon code going on for the holidays with them. It is CCC Holiday. Do that at checkout. You're going to get an extra 20% off during the holidays. Make sure you order them soon by December 17th to make sure that, of course, you get those targets to you by Christmas if you're looking at them as a gift. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take this X Carry P320 9mm compact and make this baby into an AXG carry. Now what we're going to do is just disassemble the gun before, of course, you, you do any, you know, working on your gun, you always want to make sure mag is out, chamber is clear, and we're going to go ahead and pop off that slide, set that aside, and now we have the FCU sitting in there. Let's go ahead and take the grip module out of the package. This is such a easy upgrade to do. Now you may have seen on my Wilson Combat grip module review, I do show you how to take out the FCU. It's, it's pretty simple. You remove the takedown uh, lever and the FCU, you just pull that up for the front and it comes out just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the takedown lever, pull up on the front and out it goes. So we have that X carry and I'm gonna show you uh, the similarities between the 226. So I have a, a 226 Legion that I love. The 226, when I was younger, before I was old enough to purchase a handgun, was my dream gun. So when I was able to buy that gun, and not just, you know, over 21, but financially able to buy that gun, I was super stoked to be able to get it, and I absolutely love shooting that 226 Legion. It's amazing. When I saw the review for the AXG from Sig Sauer, and they said this is like the P320 and the 226 or the 229 had a baby, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait for this to come out. I absolutely need to get one. I did the review for the Six Hour AXG Scorpion. You may have already seen that. If you haven't, definitely check that out as a complete gun from the SIG Custom Works uh, shop. But now they sell this grip module on its own in black. So I had to get one of those because I wanted to show you, hey, you know what? You're not in the market for a full gun, but you want to do some upgrades. Here's what it's going to be like. So I got the FCU out of both of the X module the x carry module and the 
AXG, we don't have it in there, but I want you to be able to see the differences are kind of in that beaver tail right there. This is, and when they say it is like the 226 or the 229 module and the P320 module had a baby, I'll put all of these in line so you can really see. Look at the beaver tail on that. It, it is almost like that. So the 226, 229 is more rounded as you can see there. Almost like a perfect, you know, half circle. And then you have the X module, which is more pointy. And right in between is that AXG. Awesome. The grip on the AXG is G10. And so is the Legion here, both G10. Very similar angles to this beaver tail on the back as well. And also the grip themselves itself has a very similar angle to it as well fantastic we'll go ahead and take the x module so you can see that as well now this is is polymer and the texturing on this is fantastic it really is i do prefer g10 myself as i covered in the axg scorpion review but in case you didn't see that these panels here are removable. So the back strap is removable. The uh, side panels, they are removable. You have some fantastic checkering on the front strap and also at the front of the trigger guard there. Very reminiscent of what you would find on the uh, 229 and 226 Legion right here. The checkering on the front strap, on the front of the, uh, of the trigger guard as well. And of course, these grips are removable too. These are a, a single piece versus these are a, are a three piece. And from what I understand, and I haven't seen this quite yet, is these grips, they're going to come in different sizes. So that way you can kind of uh, custom fit it to your hand, which is pretty awesome. So the aftermarket grips are, are just going to go bonkers with this. VZ is going to go bonkers. Hogue is going to go bonkers. There's a bunch of different companies going bonkers. <laughs> take a look at the magazine release and then you look at the legion mag release very reminiscent of each other you have that nice undercut there very reminiscent of each other so i would it's definitely one of those things like yes the x module and the 226 module, they had a baby, and out popped the AXG. Awesome. So very accurate in that statement from SIG. I really, really like this module. Let's go ahead and put this together. So let's take the FCU, and you're just going to put the... Let me get my hands here correct. You're just going to put that the back of it in first, and then slide that forward. And sometimes you have to push the trigger in just a little bit so it can get through the through that opening there. And voila, in it goes. Take your takedown lever. Insert that in. Oop. There we go. And put your slide on like normal. Like you're just reassembling it after cleaning. There we have it. Look at that. How awesome. And and I know I talk about the fit and finishes of guns uh, often. And one of the things that I have brought up in, in some of my reviews is how this angle here doesn't match the serrations of the slide in some of the other, well, pretty much all the other grip modules. This does beautifully. And you'll see what I mean. How this angle is very aggressive comparative to the angles of the slide this feels so good it adds that kind of extra weight but there's something about the not just the feel of the g10 but the the grip feels more dense uh, it feels certainly more ergonomic i i would say hands down the 229 and 226 is a much more ergonomic gun than the x module 
itself. This certainly does feel more blocky than the 226 and 229. And this is a perfect, perfect medium right in between the two. I, I love the magazine release. Love that. I also love the, you know, magazine release on the 226. And the, the not that the X uh, module magazine release was anything wrong with that, but I just prefer the texturing, almost like that uh, more aggressive checkering on the AXG module. I do prefer that more. As far as uh, firing goes, you know, I, I did take this, this to the range, checked out, okay, what's this going to feel like shooting it? And it shoots fantastic. Uh, it's got that nice density. It has the extra weight. It's not so heavy like the uh, TXG module, which is their tungsten infused grip module. You'll see those on the X5 Legions. You can buy those separately on their own, but it's not going to be a compact grip module. That's going to be their full size one because the X5 Legion is more so a competition gun. Fantastic grip module, though. Duh, not putting that one down. I really, really like the TXG grip module. It would just look really weird with a compact slide sitting on it. <laughs> Anyways, the, it's not going to change the feel of the trigger. Obviously, the trigger is going to be whatever gun it is that you take it out of. This trigger is out of an X-Carry. It's not going to change the uh, accuracy of the gun itself. It, I feel that it can change the accuracy when it comes to follow-up shots because of the way that it's absorbing the recoil better and the weight is keeping you know the gun more stable but accuracy as far as your initial shot goes i don't feel that the grip module is going to make you a better shooter because you're, you're not changing out the you're not changing out the barrel you're not changing out the the slide it's not you know necessarily improving any of that it's not improving the trigger it's more so improving the way the gun feels handles and absorbs recoil that's really what it's improving and i think it does a fantastic job at that just feels so good so crisp ah oh, gosh you know it i feel like i could shoot this gun better just because i like the gun more I know that sounds weird, but we've all been in that situation where it's like, you know, I just like this one more and it, it just, everything about it just performs better because you like it more. And I definitely feel that this is, this is a case with, uh, with the AXG drip module. Very excited, uh, to do a, a build on this. And, and that is what I'm going to be doing. And I'll kind of give you, uh, the rundown on that when I have it all finished, uh, said and done with this, with this. So I would recommend this to anybody that is loving their 229, 226, but they want something more, I guess you would say modern, the P320. They want to use P320 mags. They want to use the uh, firing control style of, uh, of guns, the FCU, they want the modularity of that. This, in my mind, if you are not wanting to buy the AXG Scorpion, maybe you just don't like the color, whatever it might be, or you want to do some custom stuff where you do the Pro Cut slide on there, which I can certainly pop this off and put the Pro Cut slide on there. So you can see that. But you're going through and you're basically wanting to get SIG's FC unit, FCU unit. You want to order your slide or your barrel. You want to kind of piece this thing all together. I and mean, look how awesome this is. How sweet is that? And, and this is actually the platform in, that I'm going to be doing the build on and, and I'm going to change out the finish of it uh, as far as that goes because I'm going to do some uh, some cool stuff and I'll, I'll show you guys what that's going to be. Um, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys that update, show you that awesome upgrade because I think it is it is sweet. The, the AXG grip module by no means is a cheap grip module and looking at the fit and the finish and how well this 
grip module is is designed and the detail uh that they put into this and marrying the two of the x carry and the 226 marrying the two and making a baby out of it <laughs> we're making babies I, I think that they did a fantastic job and i don't feel they're 399 i don't feel that 399 is really bad at all especially being a factory sig sour product i think that this is not a super smoking deal that would throw up some red flags if some if sig came out with this and he said oh it's uh you know 200 bucks i'd be like oh you know i don't know i don't know if it's gonna meet you know the my uh expectations 399 in my opinion comparative to other aluminum grip modules out there is is right there in kind of that sweet spot where you can say you know what they had pros do this they paid a lot of attention to detail it's it's going to be i'm very confident that it's going to uh, meet or exceed my expectations and it certainly did that so anyways i want to hear you guys' feedback of course is the AXG to you? Is it going to be worth it or not? Did you order one? Uh, if you did, what was the selling point to you on that? If you have one, do you love it? You know, are you feeling the same way that I am about like, you know, that, that, you know, the baby maker <laughs> with the, uh, the P320 and the 226? Is that baby the baby maker? I don't know. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, you know what? Sound off. Let us know. That also helps the community of people who are researching things, researching these and finding out whether or not it's going to be a good fit for them as well. Anyways, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, make sure to hit the thumbs up. If you like guns, hit the thumbs up. That helps support the channel. Of course, gets us higher in the ranking on YouTube so people can find our information. If you need a gun, go to uh, Northwest Armory. Visit nwarmory.com. You can order a gun, have it shipped to your local FFL. They are fantastic with that. Also, if you need to get some targets, go to xhunttargets.com. Remember our coupon code, CCC Holiday, as in Conceal Carry Channel, CCC Holiday. Uh, use that coupon code, get 20% off your order. Make sure to order that by December 17th. That way you can get it shipped to your house before Christmas. Other than that, share the love, share the channel with your friends, family, and other enthusiasts, and we will see you next time. Where's my ice mocha? Mm. Peppermint ice mocha. That's a good one. All right. So we ready to rock and roll? Ready. Because I got something in the mail today. All right, and so I... <laughs>